So this morning is all about an old favorite reworked a little bit. Pop and Pulchitz is a meal combination that South Africans are very familiar with. And it makes sense because it's both affordable and, of course, tasty as well. Now, Chef Moira is here today to elevate your regular Pop and Pulchitz to the next level with the addition of cheese as well as a few other tasty ingredients. Moira, lovely to have Hello, you. Hello, hi, how are you? So, so, so it is a favorite, Pulchitz, we all know yeah, it's so listen, many, many generally years. generally known as an economical um, protein. Yes. And full of vitamins and That's really it. good for you. And we also are putting it together with a cool baked beans and which acts obviously adds in all that extra nutrition yes. and obviously your pup is full of nutrients as well so it's really really a healthy meal all right perfect all right. and it goes a long way so let's get going we're going to make the filling first uh, i've got some onions in there with some oil and i'm adding in some green pepper if you can't afford green peppers then just leave it out all right um, but it does add in that extra flavor it goes well with the pilchards so we just we just saute that lightly. Remember, it's going to cook in the oven. This is very yes. you know your pap tart that you we all yes, love and that yes. with normally bacon and mushrooms. This is just something similar but with the pilchards. Okay. All right. We add in our pilchards. This right. is just with pilchards and tomato sauce. You don't need to. You can just turn it lightly. You don't need to mash it or anything yeah. like that. I'm so going you to want add it still in. still texture nice. Correct. Yeah. I'm going to add in the ku. Uh, baked beans. This is the one in tomato and herbs. Okay. And remember, it's got all those flavors in. Yes. Um, already. So you, you, you'll see I'm not adding in a lot of flavor. That's it. All right. There's a lot of flavor in it. All I'm, and then I'll add in a little bit of fresh herbs, basil. There you we can go. add dried if, you've, if you can't afford the fresh basil. Yeah. All right. Let's okay. give this guy a quick turn, make sure it's mixed well right. together. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper. All right. Okay. And I love, I love coarse black pepper. All right. And that's and, it. And that's your filling. All right. All right. So you can leave that. You can switch that off. All right. Then we're going to just mix our pup. Now with the pup, um, I make a soft pup. Now the pup does finish cooking in the oven. Okay. So it, you'll see it's quite soft. When, yeah. it, when it goes in the oven, it'll start coming together and it'll start, you know, absorbing yeah. all the nice liquid. Nice. What I like to add to it is some cool cream style sweet corn. Absolutely. And I, we all grew up with this and it's so creamy yeah. and, and delicious and sweet. So okay. I add that in. Okay. Mix. I'll give you and then I'm just adding in some parsley just to give it some color when it's in when it's layered in the dish. All right. So what we do now is we lay a layer of pup, okay. then your filling, and then I'm going to put in some spinach because right. people love spinach. Also full of iron and full of nutrients, and then cheese on top, and it goes in the oven. I love it. Let's start right. layering it there. All right. All right. Well, if you want to get your hands on the recipe to this old, old South African favorite with a bit of a twist, all you need to do is SMS the keyword KU to 33728, and we'll send you everything you need to know. Of course, those uh, SMSs do cost 1 Rand 50. Look how lovely right. that looks. All right. Let's do the filling. Filling. Here you we go. You can just put it all on. There we go. Oh, it actually smells really lovely. That's it, with the combination of that, that, uh, that beans in the herb oh. sauce as well. That's really, really nice. You can see how lovely it looks. All yes. Right. Let's just hold that there. And then I'm putting a little bit of spinach on. People love spinach and it goes really well with the pilchards and with the beans. That's it. Well, you definitely get your vitamins in with this dish, that's oh, for no, sure. <laughs> All right. And then another and layer then of pop, I presume. We just put we this take on this top. Guy out. Okay, easy as that. Easy as that. Some cheese on the top into the oven and we'll serve it with some Napolitano sauce or like a tomato-based sauce. That's it. Well, I'll tell you what, you finish off that guy. Thank In the you. meantime, if you want to get your hands on the recipe to our pup and pulchard start this morning, SMS the keyword KU to 33728. We'll send you everything you need to know. But here are those steps once again. Boil the water, add the salt and pup. Cover and leave to cook until done. Stir in the KU cream style sweet corn for the filling. Saute onion and green peppers until softened. Add the pulchards, ku baked beans in tomato and herb sauce, basil and seasoning. Spoon layer of pup, spinach and filling into an oven dish. Repeat the layers. End with pup and sprinkle with cheese. Bake for 40 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword ku to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. And that keyword one more time, KU to 33728. SMS that will send you everything you need to know to make this delicious stew with pilchards and pup and cheese and some other decadent things as well. How delicious does that look? I'm just putting a little bit of tomato sauce on and you can see the different layers. And then just finish it off with a bit of parsley, and it looks like a really lovely, wholesome meal. Hey, man, and this Economical. is something perfect as well for, you know, making midweek, you know, uh, it's quick, it's easy. 
Um, you don't have to spend a lot of time on it, which is no, great. No, you don't. And you could make it the night before if you've got time. And then the next day you just heat it in the oven. You know, you, you just leave The next it day the is always better. And it sets really well. And it goes a long way. I mean, you can see that such a, it looks like such a big portion. We've I still got it. so much more to feed the family. Yeah, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Pleasure. There you have it. But we're asking you this morning, what is your favorite stew? We would love to hear from you. Send us your recipes. You could do so at food at expressoshow.com. And you never know, we could be making your recipe live on the show. Only the best cooks serve coup because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve coup, you can trust you serving only the best.